Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, I am a journal maker and uh, as a journal maker I'm trying to do few different styles of journals. Lately I am really obsessed from <laughs> of making altered book journals. These are made using old books which I altered to make junk journals. And because of this <laughs> obsession I do have so many book books, like many. This is just a part I do have lately in my stuff. And I decided to create some kind of charms for my books, maybe for my keyrings. Charms like paper beads and you can make them in many different styles. Some of them can be just plain book page rolled into these beads. Some of them can be uh, straight edges book page. And you can make them coated uh, with the glossy accent, with the nail polish, with uh, the embossing powder. You can have so many options. Some of them you can finish with metal cups and make them look like <laughs> this. <laughs> or make them with metal edges and it's a very easy. So now I will show you a few types of these paper beads. All of them are made from paper and I just add here and there some uh, items I do have here. You can make, make so many different shapes and it depends on <coughs> what type of paper or what shape of paper you will take for, for that shape. So I'm gonna start with most common. You have shape like this, kind of like triangle. The start just make sure you will roll it around the, <coughs> I'm using here, pardon me, I'm using here this wooden, uh, wooden stick, but you can have maybe something like this. This is uh, from old file folders, which I took off when I used that file folder for making a journal. So I, I saved these metal pieces, which are holding the file folder or files in that file folder. So I'm saving all those metal pieces. So you can use something like this or empty pen or uh, bamboo stick. It depends how big bead you want to create, how big hole in that bead you want to have, because not always you have to use the beads for necklaces. Maybe sometimes you want to use it as a holder and if this something like this happened, just continue with your glue. Go over the edge and continue with rolling. And then just take your bead out of your wood stick and you will have beautiful paper bead. And of course you don't have to stop yourself just with one book page or one book page piece. You can always add there a little bit more. So once you have one done and glued on the right spot roll it all together maybe you will have just a smaller part smaller piece of book page so just take that smaller piece and continue with rolling
so in the end you can have more decorative bead let it dry and go to create another one there are also ways how you can add eyelets and create paper beads looks like this or the smaller one looks like pandora beads so when i want to create the long one this one i am taking this tool you need to have something where you can slide those eyelets on it uh, they will go together like this where their head is here and head is here and between that are ends of the eyelet then you need to take some straight cut book page something like this make the right position of your eyelet so you can fit there with your book page the first rolling can be tricky because you need to keep an an eye on eyelets as well as on a book page so first rolling can take a little bit longer time <clears throat> than when you are using only wood stick so here i just need to slide it back a little bit that eyelet i'm gonna take a glue and i'm gonna put a glue also in the eyelets as well just in the small part of that eyelet in those uh, kind of like cups and here a little bit and then very carefully And here it's a little bit more complicated, but it can be done because you can uh, kind of pull the book page. You need to roll it just with your fingers and to make sure that you are taking good pressure on your book page. To keep it tight. and slide it down from like this and be careful with this kind of try to push those eyelets inside you do have that that glue like this <clears throat> and i'm gonna place it back just to hold my bead and I do have here a uh, super glue with a brush and I'm just gonna add the super glue on my bead it's another way how you can make your bead not just stronger but also shiny If you don't like smell of super glue, don't use super glue. Use uh, maybe mod podge. Or 
or a glossy accent and let it dry. Super glue is drying quite fast, so that's why I like to use super glue. It makes those beads much more stronger. It also pop up the colors. And then you have your metal edges bead. And if you do have some bigger eyelets or grumets, like I do have here, these are nine millimeters uh, eyelets. And I do have bamboo stick, which is quite similar to that. Uh, I can see the head of my eyelet, it's slightly bigger than is that bamboo stick. So I can make the beads, which I can later use as a holders for my tassels, like this one. Here I can slide my eyelets, but I know if I will make a bead on this one. I can later slide eyelets inside. So I'm gonna make a bead. And I would like to have the text on all over of that bead. So I'm gonna just rip off the edge. Like this, I can slide the bead down. I can take my super glue grab my bead, add a little bit of that super glue on the edges here, take that grumet or eyelet and place it on it. And because it's holding exactly, I'm gonna go with super glue also in the inside and kind of put it all together. Move, move, move. Not on my fingers. I'm kind of spreading that super glue from both sides, from inside, kind of on the edges of that eyelet. It will catch in there. Now I need to let it dry to make sure I will don't catch myself to that super glue. And same I will do on that opposite side. And then you have your nice, beautiful bead once it's totally dry. Uh, you can use it as a holder for your tassel. So I do have here a bunch of threads or strings. And I do have here a small string where I'm going to make a knot. I'm going to make something like loop. Like this. I'm gonna slide my thread through to my bead. Here I'm gonna place my tweezers to make sure it will don't go out from this side. Here I'm gonna try to push all my threads through to that loop here. Move it to the middle. I think it's here. Fold it over. And just push it inside. I'm going to hold it here. Because I do have that big bunch of uh, threads and laces, I can't push it properly through. So here, I'm just going to push it as much or pull it as much as I can. 
hold it and I'm gonna be using hot glue and I will just put a hot glue into that bead so it will hold all that inside nicely so I'm just gonna let it dry and I will have tassel with decorative bead on the end and I do have another <clears throat> two types of beads I made uh, these are kind of like Pandora style and this one <laughs> it's just because I had those metal pieces I had broken necklace and it was put together from all these parts not from paper clips but from all these parts and these beautiful cups was put there in the row and when I kind of place it separately I found out that these are perfect to make my own tassels or these beads so I'm gonna show you how I made this one and <clears throat> for Pandora I did use uh, eyelets only both are made from straight cutted paper straight cut it like this and I will create something like this so I'm gonna take my small wooden stick and I will just throw usual way one small bead but I will put probably three long pieces of book page I'm gonna make quite thick bead and just roll it straight and because it's not enough as you can see it's still small I know I need to add there a few more pieces yeah I think this one will be exactly so I'm gonna rip off that white edge of my book page I'm gonna finish that rolling Make sure that the edges are nice and smooth and glued. I'm gonna take paper clip and from paper clip I'm gonna create inside uh, wire. So I did straight straight uh, that paper clip a little bit and I cut it with my players on the half. I'm gonna take these players with the rounded um, edges and I'm gonna create one loop on this end so I do have loop on the bottom I'm gonna take that cup slide it in and here I'm gonna hold it with my players for now because I will be using hot glue and it can be very hot 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 so I'm gonna put a glue into that cup take my bead and slide that bead on it and here you have to be careful do not burn yourself just try to slide your book page into that gap because hot glue will kind of make that this metal piece very hot so be careful so once you have one side done prepare another cup put a little bit of glue here you don't need too many and slide your cup on it and press it now you need to wait to let it cool down properly that glue inside then you can fold this one Fold your wire and cut that wire about one quarter of inch and take these players and create another loop so that way you do have nice straight loop on both sides that's one 
for creating my little Pandora beads, uh, I did use two eyelets and I did use this wooden stick. I think it's for barbecue, but I'm, I'm not sure if I do remember that right. So I did use that. I do have four millimeters eyelets here and this wooden stick. So one eyelet I slide it with the with that head down, another eyelet I slide it the opposite way, so they are kind of going together this way. And for creating these beads, uh, I use double sided tape on the back side of my book page, and I did measure that this gap is one quarter of inch. So I'm gonna cut the back pages one quarter of inch. I'm gonna use only text text part. So one quarter and then I just started to put my book pages on these two eyelets. First what I did I kind of have my belly right here so I'm holding the end of that stick here and I'm kind of pushing my eyelets together. This one it's not going uh, anywhere else, it's kind of stuck here. So I know I can press those eyelets together and press that double sided tape on those eyelets. So now I can roll and glue. And I'm gonna continue. Once the first uh, double sided tape is glued together with my eyelets, it's going much more easy to roll it over. You can continue and create thicker piece. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more from this and continue. This is going very fast to use double sided tape. Only issue is that you can't heat it with a hot glue gun, uh, with a <laughs> heating tool if you want to use embossing powder on it. So to coat it, these you can use a glossy accent, you can use uh, maybe acrylic uh, if you are using, if you do have. Uh, lead lamp for acrylic nails you can use acrylic and make a coat with acrylic or with gel or just use nail polish and add there a little bit of that brightness with nail polish oops that was my hot glue gun or just like me make it a little bit more strong and shine with super glue. The smell will disappear after it's dry. You just need to let it dry so I'm gonna place it over there and that's how you can create these small Pandora beads. And when I was talking about tassels, beautiful tassels you can create also from book pages. So I'm gonna grab one book page, fold it on half, with my ruler I'm gonna make a mark here where the fold is on that end. about one quarter of inch in the inside I'm gonna on that fold put a glue and because <clears throat> this is kind of big enough to cover it also around I know this top will be glued and will hold nicely And now I can take my scissors, this where the text is missing, that blank side, 
I'm gonna cut off and I'm gonna start with text and the text will be my guide where to cut so always right under that text I'm gonna cut those both layers and I'm cutting just to that line I created here I, <coughs> I draw there, pardon me just to that line now oh, once I am on the end I'm gonna cut this as well I'm gonna keep that last part here so I'm gonna cut this one as well I'm gonna get up my wooden stick and start to roll the top part which I glued before together I'm gonna add there a glue somewhere from here where the text is and I'm gonna be rolling rolling and gluing this top part and I will try to make sure that this edge will be following all the way on the same spot and just roll a roll like this I haven't put glue here on that end so I'm gonna just have a look How far will get this end? So I know somewhere here. And I'm gonna cut off to that point. So this I'm gonna take off. I can use some stamp here on the end or if I, I will be planning to add some uh, lace on the top I don't have to use that, that some stamps or I mean any stamps I'm gonna just add that glue and finish that ring around and here I forgot to put the glue <coughs> in that fold so I'm gonna add the glue also in that fold to make sure all layers will be glued together And I do have my tassel with that hole inside so now I can start to decorate it and I do have here so many those beads so I can use those beads to create some kind of some small charm for my junk journals and I can mix and match it with all kind of other beads <coughs> so I've got here these and I've got here kind of collection of other beads and also if you do have these small cups you can glue it inside and you do have already decorative part here, here. you can add there the lace before you will glue the cup on it so you can add the lace on this ring and then glue the cap I'm using always hot glue put a hot glue inside of my cap and then grab it inside or push it inside but right now I think I'm gonna take some of these gorgeous beads the blue ones so I'm saving also from broken jewelry these parts where there is the clasp on the end with what was in the necklace before before it was broken so here I do have clasp uh, the ring on that ring is a double layer of the string and I'm gonna 
glue the ends to make sure they will hold nicely and let it dry before I will start to put my beads together and then I can go with my beads so I'm gonna put together my little tassel charm like this and I can try to go through yeah I think I will be successful ah, there you are so I can slide it this way I can put a little bit of glue here on the end and kind of push the bead on it just a small amount and push it all together to hold that last bead glued on my tassel and here in the end to make sure it will don't drop drop down I'm gonna use some smaller bead but big enough to not go through to my tassel so I'm gonna have a look I think I'm gonna use this blue pearl I'm gonna place it on one end of my thread kind of move it inside and create a knot and wrap it up around the bead cut off the ends can keep there a little bit of these threads why not and I do have here also what was in that necklace this one and I really like that because it looks amazing so I'm gonna place it kind of like place it place it back and place it back. so I do have small chart in there so maybe you do have your tassel done, but you can't find some beads you like. But maybe you do have so many fabric of cuts, fabric scraps. So why do not create these mixed tassels where you do have book pages and also scrap of your uh, of your fabric? They will look amazing in your journals especially if you will match the fabric on the top with the fabric you will use in your journals so I do have here this piece of fabric I'm gonna try to cut some kind of a rectangle hopefully rectangle or a circle uh, rectangle square sorry square or circle are the best shapes so I'm gonna put a glue here on the top of my small tassel and try to place it in the middle somehow and try to put my fabric in kind of similar compartments or similar folds on each side I'm gonna hold it I've got here this end uh, it's called cord end or tassel end uh, tassel end cap uh, I will put link for the Amazon where you can have a look on many of these so I'm gonna put a glue here on that fabric on that top grab that cap and slide it and kind of push it through let it dry and you do have your mixed tassel before I will show you another beautiful charm for your journals made from book page I'm gonna show you the bead we created early uh, with those two eyelets so this is when you cut the book page in the lines of the text so you will have something like this if you will cut the book page across your text on the strips with the long side of your book page you will have beads uh, with text this way 
So it can look like this. So it depends on what kind of look you wanna uh, you wanna have from your beads. The cutting is important, and also uh, when I made these small, where I used double sided tape, I couldn't use a heating tool on them. So I just added to make that glossy accent. I added just nail uh, polish on these beads. And I let it dry. This one, it's not coated. Uh, this one is coated with that, uh, with that super glue, and it makes also beautiful kind of shiny, uh, shiny top. And it's already dry, and it's perfect for use in my journals. And another beautiful charm is this one. And for that, I used book page. I used key rings. These are key rings where you will slide your key and you can uh, have many keys on that ring, of course. So I used these key rings, I used uh, liquid glass and that was all. First what I did, I was kind of editing to my book page a little bit of vintage look. So I took wet wipe, I just dabbed that wet wipe to distress ink and then I dabbed that is distressed ink on my book page to make that book page look a little bit more darker. Uh, I needed to let it dry, so I'm just gonna <laughs> wipe it off. <laughs> it's not too wet. So then I took my key rings. You can make a double layer if you want so. I'm gonna glue these two together to make it a little bit stronger. And because I would like to have that text, I cut the white edge off from my book page. So now I can take these key rings and slide them over my book page the way where I will have the end of that ring, this one, on the top. So one side will be fully rounded with that ring, the other side will have that ring just in the half. But I'm totally okay with that. So I'm gonna slide a few of them on my book page. Come on, go there. You can also stamp on your book page and then manage to slide that, that key ring on your stamp. On I mean on your stamped image. So I do have my four key rings on the spot. And I'm gonna take this tree art liquid glass. You can also use a glossy accent. And I'm just gonna add that liquid glass to those spots. I forgot to put a book page underneath. It's better if you will add the book page underneath. If there will be some small leaking. So I added that glossy, uh, that liquid glass to all four of my rings with the wooden stick. I'm gonna spread that glossy, uh, that liquid glass, <laughs> liquid glass to all that ring from the edge to the edge to make sure it's catching everywhere. My metal ring. And then I just need to wait. It's taking time, this one. Uh, that drying and curing part, it's long. It's taking um, about six hours at least. I do have these here for one hour and they are still, still very wet. And these I made at morning, which is now six hours, five hours, five hours. And they are nearly, nearly done. So I'm gonna move this one on the side. And with my scissors, I'm gonna manage these. So I'm just gonna cut the book page around. I'm gonna take my uh, 
nail file and very softly I'm gonna sand that book page which is around the ring but not too much I don't want to destroy it so I'm really very soft with that you can keep it this way that you do have just one layer you can flip it over and add the glossy uh, accent or this liquid glass from the opposite side as well and let it dry or you can use it as it is this way you can also punch the circle with paper punch this one will probably take one inch so it will be there just small amount around so punch the circle maybe from some chipboard and you can glue it underneath to make it a little bit more stronger I like it this way as it is so I'm gonna take my crocodile with that one eighth I'm gonna punch the hole on the top just a small hole like this and I'm gonna take one jump ring add the jump ring here and now I can hang it maybe on this one somewhere here and close the ring and we do have beautiful charm very easy just that waiting time to wait till the glossy accent or this liquid glass will dry and cure that's take a time sorry for the chicken so this is another charm you can create from your book pages and last creation what I would like to share with you it's this mini mini book for that I used only scraps I've got here this left over a long time ago I did some kind of collage papers uh, on envelopes or collages on envelopes so I do have this scrap so I'm gonna cut the piece I think this one was one and a half no one okay I'm gonna cut the piece one inch wide one inch by three inches so really small scrap you don't need too much I will have one by three fold it on half I've got here this very small teeny mini uh, square paper punch so I'm gonna use that I'm gonna slide my strip in my paper punch kind of try to make the middle of that page and punch the window now I'm gonna take distress inks I'm gonna take walnut stain ground espresso and black ink and I will distress this piece from both sides very heavily kind of make it like book cover or notebook cover here I actually like these images so I'm gonna be softer on this one I think I'm gonna keep it this way now the edges with black ink and then just book pages I think one will be enough gonna fold it half and my book page it's actually the print in that book page the text in that book page it's actually the leg I need for my mini notepad so I can rip off this one and rip it off this one and rip it on half so that way I will have nearly similar a little bit longer pages which I don't mind at all so now I just need to rip it on a part which will be kind of ish same white as is my book cover you 
you can cut it with your scissors if you wanna have exact same uh, same pieces just use your scissors I think four papers will be enough so now I can place them together fold them this way I can place them to my book cover it's good I'm gonna open it in the middle I do have here needle with a thread I'm gonna poke the holes I'm gonna flip it this way to see where I do have that fold so I'm gonna poke two holes and sew my book from the middle from the inside I mean and back I'm gonna make a knot here and I think I will like to see the threads I do have mini booklet or mini book I can take again distress ink and add their ink to all edges I can also add the ink to that thread and I do have my mini book done and now again just jump ring open the jump ring and you can either slide the jump ring under that thread and use that as your hanging thingy like this or you can take a crocodile punch the hole in that mini book put that the jump ring and there you have it you do have your additional decoration to your journals so now I can take which one I think this one so I can put my mini book maybe hang it right here I will see how it will looks like close the ring and I do have my mini book as another charm on my paper tassel and I think that's all for today what I will share with you these are my creations which I am making lately for my journals I do love them all because it's it's uh, it's so much fun to create something from all those book pages I do have lately I hope you found some inspiration I hope uh, you found something what you will like to create from your book pages and you will like to add to your journals. Thank you so, so much for jumping in today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.